Good morning, everyone. This is Rocco coming at you with my first 11.4.4 drive. Uh, we are doing our saluted drive this morning. Unfortunately, I do have work today, so probably not going to do a bunch of drives and maybe not at all until the weekend. We'll see. Um, we'll probably do the crazy hill test sometime this week, maybe even today. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that and get that one out tomorrow. Um, but uh, we're just going to kind of see how it does going downtown Saluda. I, I wish they would um, fix uh, the speed limit on this road. Uh, we just had a torrential amount of rain, like six, in six inches of rain in the last 24 hours in this specific area right here. And um, so that's why all that debris was on the road. You might be flooded right over this hill right here. That's an interesting thing to think about. Like, I know, right here, see, look, there's water, water in the road. Um, I know there was going to be water in that road, but the car's not going to know that. That's something that that's interesting to know. Like, I know where areas could be flooded after a heavy rain, but full self-driving won't know that. And that's not something I've ever thought of before. So just, like, uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below about, uh, like, the car needs to know, you know, previous history of like flood zones and stuff. Like map data doesn't update that quickly. It just it just doesn't. It's just not gonna not gonna update quick enough to account for uh, flood areas. Like if the car knows, hey, there's heavy rain in this area, most likely this particular road is gonna be inaccessible. We should not even try to go that road. But you know. Um, that's that's not necessary to make robo taxis happen, um, but it is, I think, necessary for say level five. That was a good interaction right there. Um, it could have been, you know, it could have been a slightly smoother, but a, a very acceptable, I think. It, it braked just a little bit too much and then reaccelerated a little bit too quickly afterwards. But um, otherwise, it, it was it was better than it has been in the past for sure. So while we are on this straight stretch here, let's go ahead and bring this back over. Um, I want to mention my trip to Raleigh, North Carolina, of this past weekend was fabulous. Um, had a lot of good driving around Raleigh, and I attribute that to good map data. And there are a lot of Teslas in Raleigh. Raleigh, North Carolina is kind of like the um, Silicon Valley of the East, I think. I, uh, people have told me that there's a lot of kind of tech area in, in that area, Raleigh, Cary, Durham location. But um, yeah, uh, I, th I thought it did very well in that area. So let's see how it does. Is it going to stop for the phantom stop sign? Yes, it still is. Stopping for stop sign, that doesn't need to happen. Go ahead and get rid of that point. I really hope, it seems like every time I do a first drive, the navigation is faster and snappier and just, just happens to work. But, um, what am I trying to say? But, um, like, it, that was the worst thing about the, my Raleigh trip is that the navigation was so slow. It took like five, literally five minutes. I timed it. It was like five minutes for it to nav a route, and I missed screw my exits because of that. Um, I obviously don't know where I'm going. I'm not from Raleigh, and I needed to get on an uh, interchange on the highway, and I missed it three times because the, the car wouldn't route quick enough. And every time I missed it, the car was like, oh, rerouting. Oh, Mike, like, you missed it. Um, <laughs> and so I kept on missing it because it couldn't route quick enough. I think that might be an issue. Let me got, got uh, let me know down below if you guys are seeing that issue because I think that is specifically an issue with the early beta tester cars. I think they as soon as you do one disengagement, they just s saturate the 4G pipeline and just suck up all your data, and so everything else just absolutely just dies. That was pretty good. Um, it kind of. Hesitate a little bit because I needed to check that blind corner right there. This guy is on. Oh. <laughs> I almost splashed that guy. <laughs> that is something like I feel like the car really should account for one day. Like it's not a critical priority, but if it's. 
now. Like about the roll through the stop sign. Okay, well, it definitely stopped, but that was slightly new behavior. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it needs to account for puddles like that. Like, what, what's the robot taxi gonna do? Just run through a puddle and just absolutely spray the mess out of someone? <laughs> that that would be kind of ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny if, like, you had a terrible pa um, passenger, and um, and the car's like, I'm gonna go spray this person afterwards. Oh, no, no. Oh, come on. There's the highway. Let's see how quickly it reroutes. No. That's not gonna be a distant gate. We want to go that direction. There you go. Yes, but that was good in terms of how quickly it was able to reroute. We want to go this way, car. And let's see how well it does at this intersection. This one right here with the stop sign coming up, it always seems to be the hardest spot because it always wants to run this intersection right here. That stops technically that's not allowed to stop past the stop sign it's supposed to stop at it and then creep forward but no one does that here and this is freaking ohm wow that's the best oh that's the best it's ever done that creep like that was supernatural it creeped up stopped creeped a little bit further to check as far as it possibly could and then went forward that is for sure the best it's ever creeped right there wow um that's, I, I don't know if what in the change logs mentions that being better, but that for sure was better. Um, like, yeah, easily. But um, I guess basically we're almost home free. As long as we don't mess up at this unprotected left coming up, then we're basically home free. Is it still trying to stop? Yeah, it's still trying to stop at the blinking yellow. Oh, we had a. Oh no! Oh, we had a mudslide. Well, this uh, really sucks. It's like the car was stopping to look for me. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like, because I wanted to look at the. Oh, there we have a big mud puddle right here. It's gonna go right through it. It's gonna go right through it. No. Oh no. Oh, the car's gonna be so nasty. Like, it needs to be able to... I'm going to go snap the snapshot for those two things. That's a good edge case. A mudslide and a um, giant puddle right there. Yeah, this this drive has been very good so far. Um, and it's going to go to 35. What I like here is that even though it changed to 35 because it knows it has a turn coming up, it doesn't just zoom up to 35. You know, it, that was a very appropriate speed increase to 28 mile an hour. And then it um, slowed back down for the turn. Very good, in my opinion. And it, for rover taxi, like I could personally accelerate a little bit quicker than this, but I think if I was being driven, uh, like I'm in the back seat and just going somewhere, I would that would be it, like perfect um, acceleration profile. Now, I don't want to know like the car is accelerating, but it needs to accelerate quick enough not to like impede traffic. <clears throat> Sorry, my car's kind of cleared up. Um, cleared up. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, it needs to slow it just quick enough that it's not going to impede traffic. Same thing around the curves. I noticed what 11. Um, I guess 11.4.2 probably also had this, but I didn't really do any of testing. Uh, it seems to be a little bit more confident around curves, which is great. We'll see around this curve. This curve's always a good one to test coming up. Basically, it doesn't stay at the speed limit. Uh, my, my test is it should stay the speed limit. I would normally go f about 50 around this corner um, and be totally comfortable. But yeah, this is great. Stage 45 the whole way, didn't drop at all. That's what I want to see. As long as we get past the bridge here, we're gonna call this, did I do any, did interventions besides redoing the map data yeah I had to press it for the stop sign well I almost had zero intervention drive man almost so close 
Let's see how it handles this car. Very, oh, I was gonna say very, very good. What are you doing? Oh, I had to intervene because I was trying, <laughs> trying to stop for that car right there. Oh well. Okay, well, it wasn't a disengagement, but it was definitely an intervention because, I mean, I could have let it stop, but a person would be like, why the heck are you stopping in the middle of the road? Anyways, um, yeah, that was really good. Um, it could, not perfect by any means. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it was really good. And, yeah, interesting little edge case there with a mudslide. Um, yeah, if you guys have questions for me, put your comments down below, and we'll see you on the next video. Appreciate you guys. Bye.